I don't know this uh, as uh, bad or good news. Hopefully it's good news. But uh, I got some little uh, page sent to me by Eastside Dave's biggest fan. He didn't send it to me. Uh, somebody else did. But the fact that we played his YouTube yesterday uh, sent him into a panic attack. So sorry about that, Rorschach. We only meant it in the uh, kindest way because we're glad that Dave has a fan. Hours later, Rorschach said his palms were still dripping sweat. He said he pulled a Watley. Because <laughs> you had another big meltdown last night, huh? Yeah, just in the middle, probably about 12.30 a.m., <laughs> really the most convenient time to set your <laughs> alarm clock for a panic attack. I, You know, I don't know what the night was happening last night, but I, there was panic everywhere. I, AJ called me in a blind panic. <laughs> I had to send him on to Dave. Uh, Mafia Life Chris had some kind of ronfez.net problem he wanted to go over <laughs> with me. And I'm just like... I don't know why everybody's thinking this is a bigger deal. You were melting down. If it was warm enough, we would have run into the streets in panic. <laughs> why? It was just 19 degrees outside. Nobody was going out. Why? Was the was the moon doing something last night? Oh, me. I heard a song that made me cry. That's what set me off. Now, this is very weird for you because you're not even a song person. No. Maybe that's why it was even more effective. It just hit me <laughs> what, from behind. What, in, in the middle of the night, you're turning on the radio? I turned on TV. I couldn't sleep. I woke up and um, turned on TV and was just going through the movie channels, old movies, mm -hmm. and started watching The Jazz Singer. Now, the original one? No. The, Folks, uh, you ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> The How ne old is your TV? <laughs> the Neil Diamond one. Oh, sure, that would make me cry just having to sit through that movie With again. the fabulous Lucy Arnaz, who <laughs> should have gotten a supporting uh, role Oscar for that. I, well, first of all, she was so good, that was her last role. She never did another thing. You know it uh, cannot, uh, it, it, it cannot be a good movie if someone never works again after being in it. <laughs> And then uh, that Hello Again, Neil Diamond song came on and destroyed me. Just destroyed me. Brought back my heartbreak. This? Here it is, Fez. It's 1230. Oh, God. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to burst into hello tears. Hello again. Hello. All it is, Fezzy, is uh, him throwing a shout-out to somebody he cares about. Yeah. Hello. And this got to you? Here's the part. I couldn't sleep at all tonight. And I heard this when I couldn't sleep at all last night. What are the odds? I couldn't wait. Hello. This got to you? Yeah, and I don't know why. It's it's not like I'm a huge Neil Diamond fan or even a fan of this movie, other than Lucy Arnaz, Jr. Did you call somebody? No. This part. I think about you every night. When I'm here alone. When you're here alone? Yeah. And you're there at home. And they're there at home? Uh-huh. Hello. And then, hello. You just keep saying hello <laughs> over and over. Hello? I don't know how to tell you this. But this may be the stupidest song to ever cry about. Not for a girl. You, my friend, are a girl. <laughs> mm. So this gets to you? Yeah. And I must have been, what, four or five when this song came out? <laughs> no. I remember that because we were at your retirement party. <laughs> From the car lot. Well, it is. It's a timeless, <laughs> timeless classic. It's good to meet you so. Mm. It's good to love you like So this got to you all night, huh? Yeah. To feel this way. And I almost rewound it on the TiVo to hear it again. <laughs> Just to punish yourself? <laughs> Basically. See, that's girl. No guy would sit there. See, here's the beauty for guys. 
We're not going to burst into tears over a Jerry Bruckheimer film at 1230 <laughs> at night. Because that's the only time I'm going to watch uh, a Nick Cage movie. Is if I happen to be up and I'm like, uh, well, they're going to blow up Alcatraz. No guy is going to burst into tears over that. I know. Why did I stop on that movie? Hello again. <laughs> now, is it just this, Fez, or is it all hello songs? Are hello songs getting to you? It may be. Does this get to you at all? Oh. <laughs> Hello. I love you. Nothing? No, no, I'm not getting anything there. Nothing at all? No, I'm not feeling it the same way Neil Diamond did it to Hello, me. Hello, old friend. Hello. I'm trying to see if this brings out anything Does in me. Does this do it for you? Is this happening? All right, let's try another one. Let's see if this one works for you, though. Let's, uh... Another big hello song. This one could do it. Hello, it's Nothing me. at all there? I thought about us for a long, long time. It may be hello yeah, song. It <laughs> might be it. This I think this missed. is it. There's something here Does this song make you think of Donna Petlock? Not at all. All right, so that's not universal. <laughs> all right. Who? See if this one works for you, though, because this one could... This is a low song. It's very sad. <laughs> Starting to go a little bit. Because... Hello, Mara. Hello, Fada. Here we are, man. Camp Granada. Camp is very entertaining. Usually songs with laugh tracks don't get me. Does this remind me, remind you of that summer that you used to run around with Bill Murray and then he called you Woody the Wabbit? Poison Ivy. That was the best shape I was ever in. He had me running. Leonard Skinner. He got told main poison. Uh, here's uh, Dan. Dan, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Ronnie B. Yeah, what do you say? We're trying to. Fez had a very bad night. Like, all of us will if we hear Neil Diamond hello again in the middle of the night. Well, what, what about the uh, the ever classic Lionel Richie? Hello? Oh, yeah. Is it me you're looking for? Sure, this could be it for you, Fez. This is a hello song. Because remember when you used to date that blind black girl and she made that hideous fucking sculpture of your head? <laughs> Mind. Fez. <laughs> and in my dreams, I You're squeezing in lyrics. <laughs> Carol and Mike Brady. They did look like Carol and Mike Brady in that <laughs> video. <laughs> All right, here it is, Fez. See if this does it. Hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Nothing. Wrong? Just really Neil Diamond. Just the Neil Diamond I song. Rundgren was close. Yeah. Here's uh, here's Phil, you're on Ronnie Fez show. Hey, Ronnie, why don't you play Hello There by Cheap Trick? Oh. They're my hometown boys. All right. You might like that. Chicago girl. Oh, yeah. Chai Town. The Wendy no, City. Oh, Rockford. And same thing. For, uh, when you're outside, honey, it's the same thing. Is this it for you? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. To rock. Ready to rock. It's a nice question, though. Are you ready to rock, ladies and gentlemen? Well, if we're here, if we showed up, I guess so. Would you like to do a number with me? Here's uh, Phil. Phil, you're on the Round of Fez show. Fez had a bad yeah. night last night. Oh, sorry about that. Fez. You're 2975, my brother. Yeah. Hey, Ronnie B, uh, how about a little Rico Kasich in the car singing a little hello again? 
Is this it? It's hello again. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I miss him so much! You Nothing. It's not happening for you as much. No, it's synthesized. Hello. Doesn't do it so Doesn't much. help. Hey, uh, hey, Matt. Matt, you're on the Ronnie Fest show. Hey, Ronnie B. Uh, yeah. How about Hello, Darling by Conway Twitty? Oh, this is a good one. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. Yeah, this is nice. It's been a long time. Just as lovely as you used to be. How's your new love? Are you happy? Is this working for you, Fez? It makes me miss Darlene. <laughs> oh, I miss Darlene, too. Hello, darling. You know, let's talk to the king of rock, our own uh, hard rock Johnny. Johnny. Hello, boys. Yeah. So, uh, what about Beatles? Hello, hello, hello. Does that oh. bother you at all? Yeah. Does that how? Is... There's a lot of hellos. Yeah. This, I don't know, it goes back and forth. And I say... Uh... Sometimes it's good to break the uh, pattern, Fezzy. Mm -hmm. And this is a song, geez, I'm ready to uh, <clears throat> go on it because this song always reminded me of you. <laughs> this is really the Fez Watley song. Here's Bobo playing. Hello, Dolly, it's the Lewis. Dolly, it's so nice to have you back where you belong. <laughs> Look at me, Fezzy. Dolly, I am? I can't tell, Dolly. You still growing, you still growing, you still right. strong. All right, I've had enough. I can't take any more hello songs. Let's just take it back to the original, see if we can push Fez over the top again. Let's just see. <laughs> Here it comes. Were you just sobbing all over your, your own vagina when this was happening? It was like that really breaking down crying, too. Like, <laughs> just to say, Why don't you go over this person's house with a couple of big speakers and just stand out front? Playing this? Yes. Wait, seriously, Fez? For me? <laughs> And why this song? But I couldn't wait. Well, you, you need to get, I don't know. Hello, I would say get back on the horse, but you've never been on the horse yet. Hello. Just got to let you know. I think about you. That line just kills me. You really think about that person all the time? And you're there at home. Uh, not until recently, but yeah, then all over again. Why don't you do this? The past couple weeks. Why don't you start thinking about your job? <laughs> <laughs> I'll cry harder. <laughs> no kidding. That's me up all. That's how I sit up cried all night. My show stinks! <laughs> My show stinks! Fezzy, I, I know for a fact Hud Sucker Proxy was on TV last night. And I was up watching it and enjoying it. I 
Once that jazz singer's on, it's like my remote locks. <laughs> sure, I understand. But you got to look around a little bit. My friend, hello. Don't torture yourself. Now, you're going to the uh, the Comic-Con with your twink this week, right? Yeah, uh, New York Comic-Con all this weekend at the Javits Center. So I'll be hanging out with my twink sheepy on Saturday. Well, punish him for what you've been through. <laughs> Oh, I will. That's what I like to do when I got a little heartbreak. Take it out on the next one. <laughs> Take a fucking lasso with you. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Take the magic lasso. It would fit in at Comic-Con. Put on some spurs and a big fucking cowboy <laughs> hat. Just come riding in on a, on a fucking ottoman. Yeah! Yeah! How come no one wants to embrace their weirdness? Grab that freak. I think if you've got a freak, you ought to put it in a fucking satin shirt and say, here it is. This is my crazy freak. <laughs> Taking him out dancing. Oh, God, we got some fucked up people. Boy, everyone we know is fucked up, too. I'm not even kidding you. I look around here and I just see... To me, it looks like Custer's last stand. All my friends, it just looks like they're laying on the ground with <laughs> fucking arrows in their heads, their backs, and their neck, <laughs> punishing themselves. And I'll say this. I was actually thinking about this this morning. Obsessive, good. Obsessive, compulsive, not good. Get obsessive about something new, not right. about your old thing. Get into something new. Got any new interest? Anything on on your mind out there? Why don't you start collecting Obama buttons? There's enough of them <laughs> out there. Why don't you see how many Obama buttons you can come up with? Ah, that man. That could take me to the next election. Something to keep your little mind busy. Why don't you go down the meatpacking district, pick yourself up a tranny, see what happens? <laughs> what do you care? Give me something for the edge. This girl's got me all fucking uh, of a clump today. You get nutty with it, though, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yep. And it? it'll grip me. All right. Look who's wearing a Marson Hotel shirt. The girl's delight. Stuffy. One of these days, I'm just going to beat on Stuffy like that fucking uh, like that movie. <clears throat> I, just wanted to, I just wanted to destroy something beautiful. You know why? Why? Ladies love that kid. They love him. And his little Jim Morrison shirt. Look at him. Top of the world. Um, no, I'm not going to keep going to uh, Hello Songs. We're done with Hello Songs. Uh, here's uh, Adam. Adam, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys. Just had a quick question for Fezzy. Uh, are you going to have a secret Valentine this Valentine's Day? See ya. Oh, wow. This is cruel. Yeah. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> You'll get me going again. How, how'd you do last night? I did better until this morning mm -hmm. when I had an email from said person. Mm -hmm. Let's get together. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I don't know. Right now, I'm torn both ways. Well, first of all, one is your work. Yeah. The, the reason why this person is saying let's get together is because we work. Oh, this was a social um, invitation. Well, that's fit. Maybe what this person's doing is reaching out. But is it healthy? You can't blame this person. Oh, no. No, no, not at all. Now, is it a Jew that's unhealthy? Yes, you've got the stent work to prove that, my <laughs> friend. And the shaved, scabbed head. <laughs> I wish some hair would grow into this head a little quicker. No, I want you to keep it like that. It really looks nice. <laughs> because I, I look feel... like Frankenstein without hair going down the street in the cold. It's fun for me because I like to come to work and pretend that I work with a talking egg. <laughs> Every day I say to myself, it's just, you know how when you're a kid you go, I hope one day I do a show with a talking egg. I've never I got had to that. live it. Never had that myself. Yeah. It's great because at Christmas uh, you look like Santa Claus. And we're rolling into Easter, and you look like a talking egg. I'm glad I could get all the... Uh, I'll get a tan around Halloween and just be a jack-o'-lantern for you. Hello again. Hello. Gonna get me going. 
Uh, here it comes. So the person doesn't know, huh? No. Mm -mm. Unless they do know, and that was the reason for the social invite. No, they don't know. All right, good. I'm glad you're telling me this. Because I don't know what's going on with anybody. Yeah. Well, just know this. This person is more dense than you. Phew. You're the first person I ever knew who broke up with someone without going out with them. Was this your song? This is the song. This is the song that made me cry two nights ago. Hello, my friend. Hello. Counts. Just called to let you know. This song really gets to you? It really does. I think about Especially that line I can't get past. You are faking. <laughs> These are fake tears. No. Hank, so these fake tears... They don't seem real to me. No one can cry to this fucking song. It's I don't long. think so either. They've... <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's my gimmick. <laughs> he sounds like a ghost. Maybe it's been crazy. All right, this is an idea for you, Fez. Mm -hmm. You get the person, two boy uh, Vermont teddy bears, tape them together butt fucking... <laughs> Send them over there and say, get it? Now you understand? Uh, bear or, jam instead of a bear gram. What about this? You send this person a picture of you licking a popsicle with the caption, I wish this was your dick. I wish this was your cold dick. I don't know if the subtle hints will go over. Hey, I'm kind of a fucking poetic guy. I am kind of a romantic guy when it comes to this. I know I don't always come off this way, Fezzy. Mm -hmm. But I'm constantly thinking about romance. That's where my noggin is. This song. Why don't you do this? Why don't you just go pick up, say, oh, you want to get together? Uh, I know this hotel down on 48th. Meet me there. Enjoy yourself. On the west side. West side? That's for fucking sure. This Neil Diamond ought to be arrested for what he does to people. Yeah, but not for what you think. Let me tell you something. Now I know you're an ass eater because you got a fucking taste for shit. This might be the cheesiest <laughs> worst song in history. One thing the Jews are not known for is being sentimental. Why do you worry about any of this, Fuzz? Are you are you going to get together with this person or not? Yes, I will. Yep. Yeah, I will. Does it torture yourself? A little bit more. All right, let me ask uh, Davey Mac. Davey, would you... Uh, would you tell this person if you were Fez or figure, uh, you know, handle it yourself? I think I would tell the I would think I would tell the person if I was Fez. Let's just say this though: the guy doesn't or the person. Okay. Let me just put that as the person. Yeah, let's go with person. <laughs> Plays in a different league. Right, but so is but, that selfish or is that honest? If I told the person, are we in business with the person? Yes. Uh, is this overstepping business lines? Yes. Yeah. I think it's overstepping. Unless you think. Does that person even have the slightest inkling for that? No. Not not that I would think. Not that any human would think. Mm-mm. Based on their fiancé. Yeah, here's a very good point. The last thing you need is another newbie. You definitely, you already got one twink. Right. It's fucking literally as stupid as you. The last thing you need is another one. My pedal on, pedal on learner. Yeah, well, who? how could that person learn? From the world's worst. <laughs> it's like fucking getting swimming lessons but from somebody who's afraid to go in the water. Oh, I could never go in there. But what I think you should do is kick.